Alright guys, bonus tutorial because in this video what I'm going to do is we're going to be adding a little bit of code onto the existing program and I'm going to show you guys how to listen for multiple events or different events with the same widget. So of course a click isn't the only thing that we can do with this button. We can also hold it down, we could also fling it, we could drag our finger across that we could do a bunch of different things to it. So in this example I just showed you guys how to set up an on click listener hey button wait for someone to click you but what if someone takes their finger and they just hold it down on the button well that's not a click but it is a different event so anytime you want to listen for a different event it's really easy but there's some weird things as well that I'm going to talk you guys through so go ahead and take that again I probably should mention this make sure that you are outside your entire listener and directly underneath it Bucky's button. What we want to do is we're going to set up set on long click listener. Now a long click is kind of just like it sounds but again a click is when you just press it with your finger real quick a tap almost. So a click is a tap. Now a long click is whenever your finger is on that button for longer than a second. So it's essentially the same as holding it down. So again tap holding it down. Just think of it like that. It would be a little bit easier to understand. Now for this, what we need to do is we need to make a new interface button. Again, this is on a long click listener. It's a little bit different than this one, so make sure that you don't get confused. Actually, if you ever get an error when after you're done typing all your code, it's probably because you got on click listener and on long click listener mixed up whenever they're auto-filling. Um, they sometimes get confused. But anyways, just like before, public boolean on long click, and we'll just pass it to the view v like before. All right. So again, this is our on long click or holding down, and this is the response whenever we do that this is how we want to handle it so I'm actually just gonna take this because this is the exact same and instead of good job Haas actually right here I'll write I'll keep that the same and I'll write uh, something stupid like holy carp that was a long one alright so that's pretty stupid now there's one other thing that we need to do because look at this why are we getting this little red squiggly line missing a return statement well, that's weird because we didn't have a return statement up here I mean all we needed to do is say okay this is what we want to happen whenever the user clicks the button so why do we need a return statement right here let's well, just go ahead and return true to make it happy and I'll talk to you guys through why we need a return statement whenever we have an on long click that occurs on our button we need to return true and this is essentially telling Android hey I handled this click the user did something but we took care of it alright now the reason that we need to do that because if we didn't then that event would not it would be called not being consumed or not being handled so if an event occurred and it doesn't get handled by this bit of code then it passes it along to here so again if your finger is on the screen and it doesn't occur long enough for a, an on long click event to happen then they get it's gonna get passed on to the next listener which is on click however whenever we return true it says okay that finger on the screen event it was actually a long click instead of a click so hey click listener you can go back to sleep listen for something else because we already took care of it so now let me actually go ahead and run this alright so here we are and the first thing I'm gonna do is just click this like normal so I'm just gonna tap it real quick and of course whenever I do as expected the on click listener kicked in and it said good job Haas and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down on my mouse and not release it and whenever I do that it says holy carp that was a long one so now I'm gonna release pretty cool and actually if you click this again then it goes back to good job Haas because 
that listener still occurs. So click, hold down, holy carp, that was a long one. Again, what's happening is whenever we're holding down, it said, okay, some kind of event occurred, but okay, we took care of it right here, return true, so no need to check if it was anything else because that event was taken care of. Now for your homework assignment, the next challenge is type in this code exactly like I have and what I want you to do is pass in return false right here and whenever you click and hold down write a forum response and tell me what happens in that case and if you get it correct you are ready to move on to the next video but if you don't get it correct then do not watch my next video